Welcome to the preview of Unreal Tournament 3 Style Mutators for Unreal Tournament 2004. The aim of this mutator pack is to backport the more interesting features from Unreal Tournament 3 back to Unreal Tournament 2004. Beta 3 of this mod is aimed at weapons, namely their models, skins and advanced mechanics. In this preview I will talk about each weapon briefly, to show the changes made and the current status of it. Let's start with the Impact Hammer. The Impact Hammer is based on the old shield gun. In this beta, the primary fire has a limited range, so you couldn't do a so-called double shield jump. You can only impact jump if you are standing on the ground but you get boosted further than you would get from a shield gun. The alternative fire is now quite similar to what we have in UT3. It heavily damages enemy vehicles, making it easier to avoid manta rays. It is also a rather effective last resort way to damage enemy power cars. Let's turn to the enforcer. The primary fire now has a tracer, so if someone is shooting you with one, you'll be able to tell where it's coming from. The longer you shoot with it, the less accurate it becomes, so it could even be an improvised sniper rifle if used correctly. One of the new features in this beta is the gangster style firing. You might also know it from earlier games, that is Unreal Tournament and Unreal. This firing mode is enabled if you come close to something, like an enemy or a vehicle, and is purely cosmetic. Now let's go to the bio-rifle. The bio-rifle got a good facelift to this beta, with its blobs being very much similar to the ones in UT3. Just like all other weapons, it has all the nice effects like specularity and self-illumination backboarded from UT3. Not everything is easy to recreate, especially due to the limitation of Unreal Engine 2, so there are still bound to be missing features. Some examples are the bio rifle not having the blob shown when charged, or the blob exploding instantly instead of slowly draining the enemy's health. Let's go to the shock rifle. The shock rifle doesn't have many new features compared to the earlier beta, but it had its share of visual upgrades as well. One of the more interesting things in this beta are team skins for the shock rifle. The Instajib rifle had the same overhaul of visuals as the shock rifle. All of the weapons are complete with their third-person meshes and their pickup meshes. Let's see the link gun. The link gun got a visual upgrade and also uses all the animations from UT3. It also includes the unused fire start animation for the alternative fire. The alternative fire beam has been straightened so uh, to be closer to the one in UT3. The primary fire didn't change from the last beta, it's a very fast stream of projectiles. Off to the flat cannon. Just like the shock rifle, most of the improvements when were done to the visual side of the weapon. The flak cannon had some improvements in the sound here as well. Now it uses three firing sounds randomly. It kept the enjoyable shell explosion sound from the last beta. Now for the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher has received very interesting updates this beta. Most notable is the introduction of the third firing mode and switching between the modes. Hold the alt fire button and you will switch between the modes, linear, spiral and grenades. The grenade fire mode is very useful to prolong the time of firing, especially in arenas such as Gael or Morbius. There were a few enhancements made that are not even present in UT3 itself. The first one is bot support for grenades. They now use them one third of the time. Also, when switching the fire mode, you no longer need to keep pressing the switch button if you want to keep the current firing mode. The weapon remembers it until you let go of the alternative fire button. 
Let's see the Stinger Minigun. The Stinger Minigun is complete with the Teridium Crystal Shards from the previous beta. It has received the same update of appearance as all the other weapons. One of the more interesting update is the sounds. The weapon will only start firing more rapidly as time passes, and it will wind down if it runs fast. If you fire only a few bullets, it keeps silent and slower, making it slightly more stealthy. Now the sniper rifle. The scope of the sniper rifle has been ported back to UT2004, and the zoom animations are working correctly. The sound was enhanced as well, now packing a better punch than earlier. The sniper rifle comes in team skins now as well. Now let's see the special weapons. The first one on the list is the Anti-Vehicle Rocket Launcher, or the Avril. Aside the graphical improvements, it now features the laser sight from UT3. Unlike in UT3, however, the laser doesn't activate if there is nothing to lock onto in order to keep your position secret. Boss can see your beam as well as you can, so they will attack you if you don't fire first, so be careful. Now the Translocator. The Translocator has all the features from both games, including the camera view. The improvement in this beta was the modal re return animation. In Unreal Tournament 3, these animations are not used at all. However, here they are implemented, so you will see the module zapping into the electromagnetic field from whichever side it was dropped. The electromagnetic field effect is also remade in Unreal Engine 2. And finally, meet the new and improved Redeemer. It has the same sound effects from the last beta as well as the usual visual improvements. It is big and shows up like that on the screen as well. In third person mode, all characters hold it with both hands due to its weight. The UT3 style mutator pack Beta 3 brings more than just that though. A new mutator is included. It essentially is a variant of the like the back of my hand achievement for UT3. This mutator shows how many pickups are on the map, and how many of them you have collected already. Once you have collected all of them, with the exception of unknown pickups and weapon lockers, you get rewarded. The progress of the achievement is written to the file backofmyhand.ini, so you can see what you have completed already there. Later on there will probably be a graphical list of completed maps included in the mod. That pretty much wraps up all the changes in this beta of the mod. Of course, the mod itself includes more things such as vehicle mechanics. By popular demand, bots in the Scorpion now shoot with far less accuracy, but that doesn't stop them from being deadly. You can download the mod and read more about it on my website.